So guys, let's start. Thank you all who will spend the next 40 minutes with me. When I thought about the topic for today, I came up with website optimization with AI tools for content creation, not just because this AI topic is so popular, but also because I use it daily and still get to know about more and more new AI tools every day. Uh, first, specialists were discussing how to use AI, and now everyone thinks about how to use it so that Google doesn't penalize you and whether there are any possible issues with that at all. So today we'll discuss this point too. Most part of my speech is about how to optimize your website, so today we'll combine SEO and AI tools. Okay, website optimization with AI tools for content creation. I'll show what tools can be helpful, not just for content creation, but for creating optimized content that would work for your business. You'll see around 15 AI tools that uh, Serpset has. I know everything about them. So to make it more interesting today, we'll try to solve a use case. I'll show how to create or edit a landing page for a business with AI tools for like 95%. Another 5% must be manual since we want our content to be qualitative, drive traffic and conversions. And an important thing before we start, there are no unique guides. So you can skip or repeat some of my steps, do them in your own order, use any other similar tools which you use on your daily basis, and so on. Uh, you can use all this information to practice on your own after the webinar. Just uh, follow my steps. Uh, I don't remember, probably you will get the recording of uh, this webinar. So. A bit about myself. My name is Julia and I'm a product marketing manager at Serpstat. I've been working in this company for four years. I was communicating with our customers a lot. Now I do it a bit less. And I know how people may struggle with getting their heads around our service. Uh, there are more than 50 tools and we continue to expand the use cases list that we help work with. If uh, someone knows Serpstat, earlier we were about SEO, but now we provide tools for search marketing uh, also. You can test the platform, and if you'd like to practice uh, to improve your skills, I've prepared the promo code, but I'll share it uh, a bit later. Today's agenda. Primary web website analysis, metrics and competitors investigation. I'll highlight only the most important things here for your full understanding, what you need to analyze first and why. Content strategy, expand website structure and optimize the current one. As I mentioned before, each of you has your own tasks to solve. Try to apply all this information to your tasks, just be creative. And the third one is AI content creation tools to analyze content on the web, create new content, and of course, optimize it. Since we have, in Serpset, we have around 15, 17 AI tools, each of them solves different tasks. And in my head, I divide them into three groups, analysis, creation, and optimization. You don't need to have any special skills to work with them. Just follow the UX, press the specific buttons. And also there are some articles uh, attached. Read them, they will help you. There are other use cases in these articles to use these tools and uh, detail instructions too. Primary website analysis. For sure, you'll need something to start with. You may have an idea to create something specific. For example, today you would like to create a landing page or an article or a page of a product you sell or to present any service of your business. Another case is when you analyze your competitors, compare metrics, and then find out new ideas for your own business. 
it happens when you notice some new keywords or interesting pages on a competing website and they and they can be new ideas for your own company for your own business i've added two metrics here traffic and disability there are much more others but these two can help you analyze the state of your website quickly and i've added the examples of reports so visibility is a correlation between the number and popularity of keywords on your website analyze its dynamics probably dynamics would help you to understand what's going on better and once you see for example a drop try to understand what's going on here I've marked the abrupt change of visibility on the slide, and we see that it was because of Google's indexing issue. So you know the exact reason and you can find out what to do next. And traffic, this metric should grow also, so check its dynamics too. Correlate the changes that you make to your website and how this metrics change and how these metrics change because when you in case you do something wrong in few days you can see that in your reports or tools whatever you use to check your website health if you see the visibility continues dropping that's the first alert to check the seo of your website and keywords and content in general and now we're closer to the topic. Don't forget to analyze content and keywords. The first picture shows organic keywords that a website is ranking for. First of all, pay attention to what you need to fix. Lost and declined keywords, I've highlighted them. In case you have any ads where some lost keywords were added, change that and don't waste time don't waste your budget but if you analyze competitors check what keywords improved their positions and consider adding these keywords to your website that can be to you can add them to articles ads add copies meta tags some product descriptions and so on so it it very depends on your industry or niche where you work. Below you see the analysis of paid keywords, correlate the volume and CPC metrics and ensure your ads don't need fixing. Not each of you is a SEO specialist, but when you understand just some, when you have some basic knowledge, it's that would be much easier for you to work with your SEO specialist and understand whether this specialist knows what he or she is doing. So correlate the volume and CPC metrics and pick up high performing keywords that have high volume, but CPC is a bit lower. You can change keywords that you use for your ads. And today I'll show how to add them with AI and landing pages the is the column on the right always check your landing pages so that's where your ads bring your customers to and how they're optimized a bad, a bad uh, situation when you put money into the ad budget but a landing page is broken or misses tags or meta tags has some technical issues prevented be sure that it's uh, it's optimized it's working landing pages are often conversion pages so they bring you money that's why today i'll show how to correlate landing pages fast sorry how to create landing pages fast and what's more essential qualitative moving closer to content creation let's understand what this content should be two main things for ranking number one in publishing content are trending and creating quality and authentic content to be trending you need to know these trends and react at once to track new trending topics you can use uh, 
world famous Google Trends or any other tools which you know or work with or talking about our service we have um keyword trends uh, this is our report and you can see it the example of it you can see on the screenshot in the slide and add authenticity to all texts especially ai generated content since you'll be more useful to your customers and your website won't suffer from a high bounce rate authenticity means adding your experience to texts adding some insights unique information, pictures, videos, something from you, something, adding something manually, creating in your head and adding it to your content. And my favorite qu quote here is, marketing throwing things to the wall and checking what sticks. That's true. You need to experiment and not be afraid of implementing something new in your strategies. When you have your own business, 100%, you know your competitors. If you don't know your competitors, go find them and uh, ensure that these competitors are relevant and you work with right, talking about websites, you're analyzing right websites. For example, you, in many reports, you will see that one of your biggest competitors would be amazon or google wikipedia youtube etc so they're not relevant competitors they're competitors for everyone uh don't pay attention to them and pick out just relevant the most precise uh, websites or companies don't think um about your competitors only from this angle like they are your competitors uh but try to use their working strategies this rule is for content creation too. You can analyze competing pages or a website and um, uh, pick out top pages that are on the first positions in Google. Investigate them. You can just go to this very website or page and just uh, touch it, see how, it, how it's working. Um, Investigate them, try to imagine you're a customer and what you like about competitor's website. Analyzing pages, you can remake ready content on your website and make it even better. That's about two first steps in this slide. Then optimize it to add your brand positioning, tone of voice and uh, such a three-step scheme is a working practice to create content. Don't steal and add it to pages, but get inspired uh, to do it better. And the last slide before we start creating a new landing page, there are examples of the um, report that help collect new missed ideas to expand your business. You can create a list of competitors to track metrics and focus only on best practices. In Serpstead, such a report is called Domain Batch Analysis. When you see a competitor with best metrics, go deeper and analyze its landing pages. You can do it with reports or, again, just physically visiting these pages, but reports would show you a lot of metrics, so that would be more precise. Uh, so check how they look like, what they're made for, compare your keyword list as in the picture below. The parts about the picture below, the parts of circles that have no intersection will show you the list of missing keywords. So you will get the ready list of keywords that you don't have. They are unique. Um, no, two of competitors don't have them and just one has. These are unique keywords that you can use to extend your website text use these keywords as topics or ideas to extend your not just website structure but even ideas for products or services you can provide check what keywords this competitor uses and where and you will get more ideas more things you can try and probably run a b tests and you'll find out what works for you so i hope you're not fell asleep because now take your 
I don't know, notebook, laptop, pencils, whatever you have. I'll show how I, I create content and its use. Since I'm recording many videos and creating something all the time as a product marketing manager, my favorite source of inspiration is YouTube. Besides, I have another case. I'm a speaker of our Serpset webinars and often after the webinar, I use my speech and uh, insights from guest speakers to create articles. What else can it be? I don't know who exactly is watching this uh, conference right now, but let's imagine you launched a new product that some world famous companies already have, and they even recorded some videos or guides on YouTube. To save time on creating drafts for articles or writing instructions for it, just transcribe videos and get text to work with it later. There may be dozens of cases, just think about how you can use it. My recent case is our team launched a tool, market research, and I was presenting it on our webinar. My product marketing team always posts articles with useful cases, insights, and guides for each tool. And we create landing pages for these very tools too. After the webinar, I transcribed transcribed my webinar and got the draft, got the all, all the text. And then the next step, the next tools, uh, this tool helps me paraphrase text to get several variations of it. The helpful thing for cases when you use someone's text and now you need to make it unique or just prevent plagiarism. Another case is reformatting your content for example you want an article transformed to a white paper five seconds and it's done getting back to my use case i get some variation for text of my webinar and i can use them for article landing page or somewhere else where i need and the third step and uh, first of all, I want to remind you that you don't need to stick to my steps exactly. Some of you may need to start here from this step, but we continue here. Keywords extraction, uh, bag of words, and keyword patterns. These tools can ease and speed up your work with keywords. This, there are dozens of um, use cases on how you can use them. For example, Add any text and analyze its topic and the main keywords a writer was using. My recommendation is to combine all the tools to get more precise results. After getting a list of keywords, create a report with metrics for them to track changes and dynamics of this matrix. But this takes time to update it manually. You can automate this process and import keywords to Again, I don't know what exactly you're using, but we have keyword batch analysis, for example, to analyze the quality of keywords and use them later. So I save all this list and update it with the service. Back of words is similar to keywords extraction, but it creates a list of separate words with their frequency rate. Use that to analyze the obvious palm of keywords on your website or which topics you could miss or use just a few times and you need to do it more often and keyword patterns creates patterns that would be useful especially for tags for online shops or filters for example after analyzing the whole site you can understand what pages it lacks also another use case what i did here i combined these tools and i got a really big enormous list of keywords then i added them to keyword batch analysis where i saw metrics for them and understood which keywords have higher volume lower competition rate or cpc and um, uh, here is the Here's an example of this keyword batch analysis report, which I've mentioned before, and it's my it was my fourth step. Here I'm trying to narrow this list and keep only the best keywords. I delete keywords that I'm not interested in and then add the remaining keywords 
at this narrow list to Frank Tracker. I'm almost 100% sure you all know uh, such tools like Frank Tracker to track positions uh, on, in Google. This would be a basis, th this list would be a basis for my further work with my landing page. I'll use these keywords to optimize my landing page, create tags for it, add meta tags like title and description, run, create and run PC campaigns, create posts in social media to promote my landing page and many other tasks. This way, I don't need to search for keywords each time. And moreover, when I see that volume or any other metric decrease, but I'm using this keyword in my title or description, I'll fix that immediately. Since my landing pages are about tools that we provide, the page should, the page must attract potential customers, improve awareness, and for sure bring us money. That's why I do pay attention to such pages and talk about it today. On the fifth step, I add uh, keywords to rank track on. This way, I'll get updates about position dynamics. I use it for organic and paid searches. Um, that's up to you. Uh, use whatever you need. Uh, whatever you need. When I picked out keywords for running and campaigns. I'm not interested, of course, I'm not interested in wasting my budget, so I track positions. Once I notice a keyword goes from the first position to sixth, for example, I'm trying to change my ad campaigns and look for better keywords, like to change these keywords to replace them. In the picture with green rows, the, this green rows, these are positions of specific keywords. You can get the you can get to the keyword overview report where you can find analogs for an old keyword. I'm picking out the other keyword and adding it to my ad campaign to improve the situation. All you need to do is analyze volume and CPC. During setting up a project, there is a life hack. Add your relevant competitors and you'll be able to track keyword positions not only for your website but also for competitors. It uh, doesn't require any additional charges, uh, nothing. Um, and later you'll get info about the history of position changes, what website which positions had, on what day exactly, dynamics, PPC changes, uh, etc. I, I always add that. Uh, and another tip for you, especially when you need to create a title for an article or your website pages, or you are preparing a newsletter, use reports to find out better keywords for your content. For example, suggestions, search questions, and related keywords help find variations for keywords and you don't need to waste time on making them up. Again, I, I don't know how this report can be called in other services or platforms, uh, but I'm sure that can sound something like that. And here you can find really worthy keywords that can boost the article performance. For example, consider adding them to Rank Tracker too. Okay, at uh, generation, this is the fifth step. When I started promoting my landing page to tell more people about a new tool that can be your service or your product uh, try to imagine that you are doing all this work about three years ago i was creating text for ad campaigns and i still remember that day since i was doing it manually and there were around 100 ad pieces people please automate such tasks ad generation creates ads and shows real examples from search engine too here add uh, about how to do that add target keywords and relevant keywords target keywords would work as principal keywords so select them attentively usefully usually i pick out keywords from the rank tracker project and add them here if you don't have such a project just use i don't know use seo services or maybe your SEO specialist can just give them to you or use any platforms to find to collect such keywords but probably don't take them from your head just be sure you know these keywords have high metrics and they 
should work. And you'll get the generated ad and real examples of your competitors. Remember, before running ad campaigns, optimize the very pages. I give examples of ad campaigns to our PPC specialists, so sometimes I do it first just to close this question for myself. The sixth step. Now, the most interesting part, let's create content. Finally, I'll show you two tools to create articles. I create articles for our tool, so I need it all the time. And the title, uh, so the first step, add, add the title and you'll get the whole article at once. To be honest, I prefer the other tool since this one doesn't allow you to make any changes, but if you have no skills in content creation, article generation can really be your friend. And here I've also prepared some use cases that can help you so you can solve these tasks too. Now what I use. If you have some time and know at least something about content, article builder, that's my theme. Here you'll need more data to start uh, and uh, a reminder that all these are AI tools. Here you'll need more data to start and, uh, uh, and uh, reminder again, use best tools, best keywords from rank tracker to do that. Many people use all these uh, I don't know, existence AI super tools, but the result can be really, really bad because they post content without optimization. Please don't do that. We start from the title generation and the tool will give you several options. In such occasions, I prefer A-B tests if that's possible uh, for your case, or you can enter your own perfect title, that's up to you. Then when you confirm the title, you like it, build, build uh, the tool generates outline. And you can edit this step too. So it literally builds an article step by step and you can be sure the content is good. Before confirming outline, I add some numbers, questions or other clickbaits. And uh, the same I do for title. Then you can generate the whole article for each outline at once or one by one. Pay attention to these keywords in the green frames. It's important to recheck them to be sure your article contains all the keywords you need. This way it should have a high traffic. And don't think about this tool like a tool for articles only. Uh, you can use any part of a text for other tasks or landing pages as I did. And finally, you'll see the result. And what's important, it looks like the article but not just a huge canvas of text. For my PR campaigns, I, I distribute the created articles in our social media, of course. I tell our customers about new tools, attach my article, which I've just created, and give links to LinkedIn pages, which I'm in the process to create. So this tab is essential for me. The tool creates posts and adapts adapts set text to the special requirements of each media. You can see examples on the slide. I won't waste time here. Just also automate all these steps. FAQ generation. Now we're moving to pages optimization. FAQ ideally helps appear in the feature snippets and be on the first page of Google. It can take time to create questions and answers. But duration helps automate these tasks. Once you start appearing in the Google also ask question, that's a win for you. So my landing pages always have an FAQ section. They are small, don't take too much space, but can really boost this page a lot. Probably this step is one of the few that I rarely added because it's hard to generate it bad and I trust AI here. Title and description generation. To, this step is to continue optimizing my page. I always uh, add and pay attention to title, titles and descriptions too. These are actually two separate tools that create this meta text. Um, but by the way, some of the tools work only with English now. All you need here is to add text and press one button. All the results will be saved in the report. The correct title and description help customers understand what your product or service is about. On the upper, on the upper picture, you can see how these meta tags look like in the search. 
when you generate uh, meta tags, we check how they look and don't forget to change them if you see bad performance. If customers see wrong or strange meta tags, they can skip your website because it doesn't fit their needs. Meanwhile, it does, but the meta tags were incorrect. All customers get to your website, but because of the wrong title or description, they back to the search, and this way your bounce rate increases, and it's bad. Grammar and spelling checker. Now is the 10th step. We're almost done. Of course, we have to recheck all our content to be sure the customers wouldn't be afraid of reading it. We all make mistakes. It's okay, especially when you write fast. So grammar and spelling correct um, mistakes in text. It highlights where they were found. And besides the grammar and spelling mistakes, it uh, also correct, correct incorrect data like dates, places, formulas, some historical things. Uh, it's also important to gain the trust of your audience. Another my tiny recommendation is to install extensions that improve your work daily and you even don't need to remember about it. Like I've attached the Grammarly extension here, maybe many of you use it. I use it to be sure my content just looks professional. And the 11th step is to be sure your content is okay. It's organic, authentic, readable, and Google won't penalize you for stolen content or using AI too much. AI content detection shows the percentage of human to artificial intelligence writing. Besides checking your own content, you can check your specialists or freelancers, freelancers and be sure they work honestly. And today we talk about AI content. And in the beginning, I've mentioned Google and how it reacts to AI generated content. So here's an example of their opinion. Uh, they focus on the quality of content. Quality, that's what they care about. That's what I repeated. That's why I repeated the word authentic a dozen times today. Always stick to this rule. Even if Google is okay with that, remember that you do it for your audience in the first place just for people. And the second tool is the plagi plagiarism checker. It checks text uniqueness and shows the fragments to change to make it unique, especially when you borrow someone's content. Do that. To post content that won't be banned or not to harm your website, check your text for plagiarism and fix it before posting. That's uh, the safest probably order for you. These steps were the last ones when I created the landing page. So let's um, a, a reminder that I don't stick to one plan all the time. It changes every time. And one more thing about AI tools, get just get used to them. Don't expect to get everything from the first try and use it at once. Give it a time. If you don't like the result, repeat. Try to change the keyword list or maybe the whole topic. And don't lose sight of optimized pages. After you pass all the way to create an article, landing page, description of your product, whatever, don't forget to update all this information, especially when you get to the first positions, do your best not to lose them. And I use this scheme, this scheme you see in the slide. And, um, you can, I don't know, make a picture, save it, because um, I don't know. No, it works for me. Probably that would work for you too. And um, uh, the last, the last tool for today is a plugin uh, ChatGPT. One of the tools we're so proud of is this one. The plugin generates a list of keywords with metrics. Their example is on the screen, and this feature helps create SEO optimized text. So, is the case when you don't get just AI generated text with in, in the chat GPT, you get it optimized at once and you can use it and add it for your website at once. Also, you can follow these steps and use it on your own.
my the last slide now about the bonus the bonus i promised in the beginning recently my team and i released the serpstat academy where we teach how to solve different tasks with our platform you can use this knowledge in other similar platforms by the way too not only in serpstat and if you follow the qr code you see here you'll get to the free academy version so no charge, don't be afraid, go in there. And this promo code in the slide gives you 14 full, 14? Yeah, 14 day full access to all the tools. I've prepared that so you can learn and practice in real tools. Also, it's a nice way to repeat all steps I've just told you about and try to create something your own. Don't be afraid, just try practice make your mistakes and in case something is going wrong contact our support team or contact me in linkedin give your feedback or suggestions whatever you need thank you yulia it was a really great presentation thank you so much i just scanned the qr codes and this is like some educational videos right uh there are there, there, actually there are two academies one is for seos for SEO and the second mm -hmm. one is how to work in the very platform. So you can select uh, which you like. Yeah, okay. there are videos too, yeah. Okay, perfect, thank you. And I we have some questions about the, on your presentation, you mentioned the tra transcription from video to text. Yes, yes. And which software is it using on that part? Like Whisper and also one more question, like is it only for English or? several language languages um, is supported i'm not sure about youtube transcription because there are a lot of tools and yeah. we we are adding new languages every day so oh, okay. probably today we have not just english please check it okay. uh, but all these tools that i was talking about they're in uh, our platform in serpstart so i know how they work so i've shown them to you okay perfect and one more question on the one of the part of your presentation like one of the tools is supporting a content from the title like contents and the, the the whole content is every every time is creating different content yes yes that's why i, I said that if you don't like you can try repeat and you will get more okay. new results and that's all about uh, most part of the tools you will get new results yes okay perfect and one more thing the last one the oh two two more things and the, the plugin that you mentioned is free or on the it's yes it's free but you have to it, it depends on your chat gpt it's for chat gpt plus subscribers because any extension in chat gpt okay. is only for plus members yes okay perfect and on the uh, social media tool on the one part that the the tool create creating a social media content from the blog post for example is it possible to link the social media channels or just copy and paste on the social media channel um, yes you need to copy and add it yes paste. okay perfect mm -hmm. i think that's it yulia uh, thank you so much for joining us this year yes thank you so much thank you for in inviting me i was happy to be here i hope it was useful please ask any questions if you have uh, in my linkedin thank you Okay, perfect. See you. Have a great day. Yeah.